I've got something you'll be interested in. Those performance upgrades we discussed after the last race. They're on the car and the data looks promising. Take a look at the details. qualifying here at Interlagos, the Autodromo Jose Carlos Pache. The teams have completed their preparations and are just waiting for the pit lane to open before they take to the track. And as we count down to that green light, I have to say, Anthony Davidson, that this rain is not showing any signs whatsoever of abating. I imagine we'll be looking at some last minute setup changes to better adapt these cars to the conditions. What do you think? The trouble is, Crofty, they need to be thinking about the race tomorrow. You don't want to go jacking up the ride heights and piling on a few points of extra downforce that you're not going to want in the Grand Prix itself. The Parc Ferme regulations mean that you have to make that choice. The best thing the drivers can do is adapt with the tools they have available in the cockpit. Moving the brake bias forward will help stop the rear end slipping out under braking, and opening up the differential can really help tame the oversteer on corner exit. The drivers that can make best use of these techniques will have the best chance for success here today.
as we wind down from the excitement of qualifying, here's a look at your top three. Bottas, Hamilton and Kimi Raikkonen. The grid is set then, so that just leaves the race itself. Join us tomorrow, where we'll be live with all the action. And until then, it's goodbye. ready to go then and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position and starting alongside in P2 is Sebastian Vettel. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Ocon, Holkenberg, Roman Grosjean and Stroll, Hamilton, Kvyat, Magnussen and a Renault, Verlein, Ericsson, Daniel Ricciardo and Alonso, Sainz, Verstappen, Stoffel van Dorn and Kimi Raikkonen. Massa and Sergio Perez rounds off the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track.
wonder, Anthony Davidson, just what set them apart from the competition here. Well, I think the track conditions just really suited their car today. Wind, track temperature, you name it. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature. So the more easily you can keep them there, the better your race tends to go. And that's exactly what happened. Their car just looks so comfortable out there. So here they come now, out onto the podium. Wherever you go, anywhere in the world, the prancing horse flags are dominant in the grandstands and they're out in force again today. It's Ferrari on the top step once more. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. Sebastian Vettel takes over the lead of the driver's championship after that excellent result. Moving on to the driver of the day then, Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? Well, I have to give it to Kimi Raikkonen. Consistency, good battle, sensible driving. He can be pleased with that performance today. It may already be wrapped up, but let's look at the constructor's standings. Ferrari extend their lead at the top of the championship. That's it for today's Grand Prix, and from Antonai, it's goodbye, and see you again next time.